Hey guys, Kintat11 here, and in today's video I'll be teaching you some tips for building zones like residential, commercial, and industrial. Now, for today's video I will probably be using mostly residential zones to be demonstrating, but for most of it, most of the stuff will apply to all the zones, so residential, whatever zone I use doesn't matter. But anyways, let's begin. So as you can see, I got a couple four by four areas here. Sorry about the breathing, but and as you can see, they'll be building on the first half of it. Oh, looks like I forgot the power. Let's just wire some over there. Oh, I'm lagging a bit. Okay. Then over there, let's get some water here quick. Sorry, I forgot to do all this, but okay. So basically, you're gonna be seeing that they're only building on this one half. And why is this not working? Oh, right. I built. I don't think I connected the pipe. Nope. There we go. Okay. But basically, the only building on the first half is be. The reason why is because that's how this game works. They'll build like the parking lots and the yards or whatever, but they won't build so far off. They only build the yards around the house, and you won't get any buildings that aren't snapped on the roads like this. Buildings will not spawn if they're not connected to a road. So basically what I would recommend doing to get maximum houses is to either make a long uh, lane that's about 4x4, four four. either do something like this, where... Uh, you keep making these squares or make just a really long line and put a bunch of zones in there now the only problem with this one with the long lines is that yes it does save you a bit of money on roads and all every month but the bad part is is that it'll make your people unhappy about traffic because they have to keep constantly using that road instead of using these uh, smaller roads all the time no, they'll be using these ones constantly. One thing about long roads like these ones that don't have a lot of ways to get to this destination is that they use a lot more often, and the bad part is is that it'll lower your traffic happiness, and that affects your overall happiness. But basically, you'll see in a minute here that if I build roads around these zones here, that stuff will start building. Just let me finish this. And as you can see, the residential are already starting to build. Now, I don't think people want as much industrial, but that's okay. That's not... That's why I over there. But as you can see, they're starting to build over there, and then I put a road there, and they can snap there. Now, as you can see, they're starting to upgrade and rebuild themselves. Or at least some of them did. If you didn't catch that earlier, it was early in the video. But basically, buildings will also rebuild themselves over time kind of like an upgrade so if you just leave a patch of like residential level one alone for a while and your city grows the buildings grow with your city and you don't have to destroy them or anything they just rebuild themselves see as you can see some of these are better than others like this one that one's horrible but eventually it'll be upgraded but this was but this is the end of the video so Hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching, and I'll be making more Theo Town beta tips and vid videos. Sorry, I I'm st stumbling a lot in my speech here. I don't know why. I guess I'm kind of tired or something. But you're probably gonna see this video later than when it was recorded, because I'm probably gonna use this as a backup video, or just not gonna upload it right after I make another tutorial video. But I will upload it eventually, but thanks for watching, and I will be making more tutorials later on. Goodbye.